Emergencies can happen in your home. It is best to be prepared for them. I'm Mark Gouin with Remax Southern Shores and in this video I'm going to go over four things that every homeowner should know plus a bonus, something I learned along the way. Stay tuned. So number one is knowing where the main water shutoff valve is for your home. Uh, knowing where this is plus having easy access to it. Um, if you do have a water leak in the home, you know, if it's something major and you can get right out and turn it off, it could be the difference of a uh, couple hours cleanup. Uh, but if you aren't able to turn it off, it could be thousands of dollars worth of damage. So in this home, uh, the water, the main water shutoff valve is right here. And I'm going to show you real quick a little test on uh, making sure that you have it off. If you want to be 100% sure that you turned off the correct valve to shut the water off into the home, you can just come out to the kitchen sink and test it. The second uh, important thing to know is your electrical box. Uh, you want to make sure that it's labeled clearly and correctly. Uh, so that you can turn off uh, individual things or if you need to hit the whole main, um, you know where that is. And you also, very important to make sure it is easily accessible. Uh, I've seen many and many garages where, you know, it would take you a half an hour to move stuff out of the way just to get to the electrical box. You want to make sure you have a clear path at all times to your uh, electrical box and to make sure it's well labeled. And the third thing, if your home has uh, natural gas or propane, uh, to make sure you know where the shutoff for the gas line is. Uh, in this home, it's uh, right here by the water heater. There again, you want to make sure you have uh, easy access to it. Uh, so if you did smell gas in your home and you're not actually cooking, that you can go out and turn it off and, and then call the gas company right away. And the fourth thing I'm going to share with you is about your air conditioning system. Uh, what you'll see on your home usually is two drip lines coming out. One is going to be right near the unit and it's going to be low to the ground and if that is dripping that's fine. That is uh, how it's designed. And the other one, let me adjust the camera, the second one is going to be up higher on the home and it's going to be over a window. Uh, the reason it's there is because if that one's dripping uh, you want to know because that means something's wrong with the system. Uh, and since you have a nice clear path to your electrical box and it's well labeled, you can go turn off the system and then give your uh, HVAC uh, company a call uh, to come out and make any necessary repairs. And as a bonus, I'm going to share some of the best advice I got from a client who is now a friend. His name is Brian and he is a firefighter. And uh, he asked me the question, you know, do you have a fire extinguisher in your home? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Uh, he's like, where is it? I'm like, you know, right here under the kitchen sink. He's like, well, if you're sleeping and there's a fire, are you going to run through it to get to the kitchen? So here's his advice. And his advice is to have multiple fire extinguishers throughout the home and keep one next to every bed in the home. That way, if there was a fire in the middle of the night, it's right there. You grab it. You're able to knock the fire down as you uh, exit the house as well as if you have uh, an uninvited guest in the middle of the night, uh, you could certainly, you know, this would come in handy, uh, paralyze that uh, intruder so that you can get out of the house. The four things every homeowner should know, the main water shut off, uh, so if there is an active leak, you can shut it off right away. Uh, also a great idea if you're leaving the home for an extended period of time to shut the water off. Number two, uh, make sure you have uh, easy access to the electrical panel box. Uh, as well as everything is well labeled. Uh, number three, if there's uh, natural gas or propane coming into the home, knowing where that shut off is. Uh, number four, uh, knowing how to determine if there's an issue with your HVAC. I'm Mark Gouin with Remax Southern Shores. Always happy to help with anything real estate. And you can reach me at 843-685-9326. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.